After being ridiculed, the brothers were furious. With conviction, they surrounded the woman on either side. Two pairs of thick hands moved toward her. Oh, you'll die for that! The woman was confronted by two big men, but her face was indifferent, and she did not panic at all. With a roll of her eyes, she took down her umbrella. Then she used the sharp end of the umbrella and stabbed both men in their faces. Children! She grunted. The brothers had to throw themselves aside to dodge, then ran after the woman as she darted away. Be careful! Olivia yelled. The woman took a moment to glance at Olivia and then shook her head in boredom. It seemed that she honestly didn't care to taunt the brothers anymore. A delicate fist reached out from under the umbrella and headed toward Black Dragon. Aw, so small. It's cute. Black Dragon looked at the fluttering fist and laughed. Then he stretched out his palm to block it with ease. It's a waste not to play with such a beautiful hand. Just as Black Dragon was ready to fight the woman, he felt a sharp pain in his palm. The exact placement of the woman's fist had hit a nerve on his palm that caused a debilitating sting to run through his whole arm. And yet, you're also kind of a Luddite when it comes to fight techniques, she commented. Black Dragon glared at her, still reeling. She was already preparing for the next strike, this one much harder than the last. Black Dragon flew backward, slamming back first into a balustrade of the pavilion. The railings were made of stone, but even so, they had cracked at the impact. The strength of this woman was nigh unbeatable. Brother! This sudden change made Black Tiger's eyes widen in disbelief. Don't worry, you get some too. Before Black Tiger reacted, the woman had shoved her foot into his gut. Ouch! Just like her fist just then, her kick was incredibly powerful, and Black Tiger hurtled back like a soccer ball. He hit the exact same balustrade as his brother had. Gah! Black Tiger grunted and the two both screamed. Black Tiger fell on top of Black Dragon, causing both to cry out in pain once again. The two of them were already injured, but now they were again howling on the ground. They couldn't stand up for a while. Olivia was stunned. She did not expect a seemingly weak girl to be able to move and fight with the impact of thunder. Wow, cool! Amy looked at the woman adoringly, and Clara was also relieved. The woman took up her umbrella again and stepped into the pavilion. Elegant and quiet, she was like a different person entirely from that fierce woman she had been a moment ago. This? Olivia just opened her mouth in awe. The woman seemed to have guessed what she wanted to ask, and she calmly replied, My name is Gemma. Er, can I ask? Before she finished her sentence, Gemma had interrupted Olivia's thought. Don't ask me why I saved you. Everything was because of Aiden Dale. Olivia had never met this woman before and she wasn't sure what to say. Apparently, she knew Aiden, though. In the silence, Olivia looked around, unsure of what to make of what had just happened. Then Amy said, Mom, you see? Aiden's been making lady friends again. Clara stared at Amy, but she was more interested in assessing what Gemma's deal was. She looked at her like a prospective mother-in-law would look at her daughter-in-law, making Gemma feel uncomfortable for a moment. She opened her mouth but said nothing, so she just turned her face away. And Olivia also seemed to feel the change of Clara's attitude, and her heart pounded like it was in crisis. Changing the subject, she turned and pointed at the brothers howling on the ground. What do we do with them? Gemma glanced at the two men and said naturally, Break their hands and feet and throw them into a dumpster, maybe? The three women suddenly gasped and stepped back. The brothers on the ground were even more frightened, and they choked back their screams. What's the matter? Was that strange? That's what the company I used to work with did. Gemma was used to the cruel and shady dealings of Big Brother Incorporated. She didn't even realize their methodology was strange. Olivia had a complaint on her lips, but held her tongue. They all just stood there awkwardly until there was an exclamation that broke the silence. When they looked out from the pavilion again, they saw that in the curtain of rain, a familiar figure was running toward them. Aiden! Amy excitedly clapped her hands and then waved her small hand to her brother. Thank goodness! A middle-aged woman, who seemed to be the caretaker of the garden, ran into the rain with an umbrella in her hand and shouted after Aiden as he parked the white knight in the middle of the garden. Amid his concern, Aiden had run over many flower beds with the white knight. No! The middle-aged woman looked at the flower beds run over by the car in despair and sat on the ground dramatically. Aiden didn't care about those minor details. He rushed into the pavilion at the fastest speed he could muster. 
it was a great relief to see that everyone was okay. Aiden! Amy looked scornfully at her brother. You're really wet! Aiden looked down at himself and couldn't help but smile bitterly. He had overcome his fear of the water and learned to swim well, but he had no ability to magically dry himself off. After hearing the news that the three women were in danger, he hadn't taken a second to even consider changing his clothes. Now that he saw that they were safe, he was embarrassed to be standing in front of them with sagging wet clothes and dripping hair. Olivia handed Aiden a tissue pack from her purse and he tried not to laugh at the kind but feeble gesture. Olivia was smart and knew him well. She probably knew exactly why he was so embarrassed. She understood that he had rushed there to save them without concern for his appearance. Aiden began shaking out his wet hair, but at the same time was assessing the situation in the pavilion. He had only been focusing on the three women before. When he looked at the ground, he saw the trembling brothers. Boy, he was glad to see them. They did not match his enthusiasm. The moment Aiden had entered the pavilion, the brothers were terrified. Was it not that boy who had attacked them in that secretary's house? Why was he here? And when they saw Aiden and Olivia share their intimate look, they knew one thing and one thing only. This was the end of them for sure.